Hey guys, welcome to the video. So somebody has a job where uh, they're at job A and they like the job, but they got a better offer at job B. So then job A said, wait a second, we don't want you to leave. So here's a little extra cash plus an opportunity to get some stocks in the company when they go public in a little bit of time. So let's go over the email. I got permission to read it. And we'll talk about some of, this, some of the decision-making variables that you should consider in this situation. Not uncommon, by the way. So let's just read it. Hey, Stefan, I'm a longtime viewer and purchaser of many of your materials over the years. I appreciate that. I'm glad they came in helpful. I have a slight dilemma on hand. I got a job offer. Hey, it's a good dilemma to have. To be a senior developer, the comp meaning what they're going to pay you, the comp would be 110k plus a signing bonus of 7. My original company is willing to give me the title, retention bonus of 3.5 and 100k plus equity in the company worth around 75, which they plan to bring to the public within the next two years, if I'm still with the company when they go public. Uh, so it's contingent on he has to be there to realize these shares. Thank you for your time and ancient experience. Also, you can use this in the video. So there's a few variables here. First of all, with the 75K uh, potential equity position, that has to be weighed in terms of how probable is that? How probable are they going to go public? How probable is he going to be there in two years? Number one, even with the increased job uh, payment from the current employer, which is 100, it's still 10,000 a, a year less than uh, his current place. So over two years, that's a $20,000 difference. So the 75K goes down to 55K. And then the signing bolt is a seven versus three and a half. So it's more like 50K, 51 and a half K. So basically, this whole thing comes down to fifty-one and a half thousand. Do he does he move over from his current business to the next company, rather, based on a potential output, a potential bonus of fifty thousand or so dollars or a K? I'm not sure where he lives if he's in the UK or not. But anyway, whatever, fifty-five, an extra fifty-one thousand versus nothing. Um, that's basically what we're looking at here. We're looking at $50,000 difference that may be realized if he is still there in two years. So he has to, he has to de decide what are the probabilities that he will still be there in two years. Um, does he like where he currently is versus will he like it better where he's going? Are there any equity opportunities in the new business? Maybe if you go there after a year or two, you'll get some equity opportunity there as well. Maybe and likely your 110 will go up higher, might go to 115, might go to 120 over the next couple of years, right? So all of a sudden that 75,000 shrinks. That being said, it, it comes down to the probabilities here. What are probabilities that you realize that? Everything is negotiable, by the way. You could come back and negotiate higher positions in each of these counter offers and offers. I'll leave you with this story. There's a classic study in psychology, the marshmallow study, where they got in a bunch of kids and they told, some, they told all the kids, you can have two marshmallows now, or if you can wait 15, 20 minutes, whatever the time frame was, you can have five marshmallows, something like that. So some of the kids said, okay, we're going to go for the two now because uh, we want our marshmallows. And uh, some of the other kids said, no, we're going to wait and we'll get the, the five marshmallows. So what they did is they tracked these people, these kids throughout their lives. And what they found is that the kids who were able to de defer gratification were able to say, I'll wait that extra time to get the five marshmallows. They did far better in life. The kids who uh, took the marshmallows right away they didn't do as well. So that tells you that the ability to be patient, to defer gratification, has tremendous benefits. It's one of the key skills that you can develop, one of the key impulse controls, if you will, that you can uh, develop. So in this situation, you know, it's whether you have to assess whether that 75K 
one-time bonus potential, which is actually 51K difference, is really going to be worth it or not. Um, in this situation, I would try to negotiate both, both, both positions up, see if there's any potential equity position gain in the new company. Also, with the new company, you don't know if you're going to like it there after you go work there. You're not sure. Um, does he like his current job or not? Uh, does he like the type of work he's doing there? Does he like the people there? These all have to be weighed. So there's no cut and dry answer, of course. Uh, but at the end of the day, I would try to play the medium term game, if you will, rather than the short game. Uh, meaning, if you assess in all this, all things being equal, that the new company will be better for you, then go with the new. If you feel in the medium term that the current company will be better for you, then uh, go with, stay with them. And of course, always consider the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Always consider the uh, quality of life. Where would you like to work? All right, I hope that helps.